Yes, it is very hard time right now, but I experience that uh, God is with us. The Filipinos must learn the Word of God. Please pray for them. Please remember the gospel. Hallelujah. Nice to meet you, JCS family. Uh, this is Missionary Young. Uh, I'm doing ministry here in Iloilo, Philippines. I've been here about 12 years. Uh, it is an honor to share the Word of God today. Thank God and thank uh, Principal Lee Min Ho. Are giving me opportunity to share Word of God today. Today I'm going to share Word of God with the Philippians chapter 2 verse 12 to 18. The title is Will of God. If you look at verse Philippians chapter 2 verse 1 to 11, this passage says about Jesus. It tells about and that Jesus is the humble Jesus and about the love of Jesus and Jesus is the Savior and the true Lord and then verse 12 to verse 18 says that how we live as a Christian according to God's will the verse 13 says that he is God who works in you the God works in you to will and act according to his good purpose. Apostle Paul mentions will and purpose. That that is God's will, God's purpose. The first Peter chapter four, verse two to three says, "As a result, he does not live the rest of his earthly life for evil human desire, but rather." For the will of God, so for you, have spent enough time in the past doing what pagans choose to do, living in debauchery, the lust, drunkenness, orgies, the carousing, and detestable idolatry. Apostle Peter also is explained about the will of God, but he mentioned that in the two wills and you know, there's two wills you know, one is God's will the other is uh, the pagan's will uh, today but I'm going to share only in you know, God's will so through this passage Philippians chapter 2 verse 12 to 18 it talks about love it talks about word of God it talks about the fear of God the God wants us to have these virtues and drive us to live as a true Christian who gives a good uh, influence in this world. First of all, God's will is to love one another. The Philippians chapter 2 verse 3 to 4 says the, about humble take care of others and respect neighbors the verse 14 says do everything without complaining or arguing these virtues are related to love the foundation of church is the absolutely the love of God we church community we should live by sharing and making love in Jesus Christ Jesus challenges us that we must also love enemies. Love God first, love neighbors, and then Jesus challenges us and love enemies too. Someone says, we met enemies in the living room. From time to time, the family becomes enemies. Sometimes the classmates become enemies. That means you know, 
not easy to love even family. What about love people, the bad situation, like nowadays? Yes, it is hard. The whole world is in pain because of the COVID-19. I know Korea have a pain right now. I pray for Korea and whole world to have a quick recovery from COVID-19. Here in the Philippines, same. Very hard right now. Here's Philippines, you know, about there are 8,000 uh, confirmed cases of COVID-19 per day. Not a good situation. My ministry is serving Korean community, church here. And many Koreans have returned to Korea. More than half of uh, church members have also returned to Korea. It's a difficult situation here right now. Even local church, the Philippine people have a uh, uh, many problem right now. Uh, it is hard to live without complaining in this situation. It is hard to love God, the love neighbor, without complaining. The Bible challenges us the love and overcome any difficult things in our life. Amen. The first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 15 to 18 says, the very famous words here, now make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong, but always try to be kind to each other and to everyone else. Be joyful always. Amen. Pray continually. Amen. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Yes, it is very hard time right now, but I experience that uh, God is with us always, even a bad situation, and God helps. Amazing. I experience God even more in difficult situation. The amazing God is still working in us. Thank God. I believe that it is answer of your prayer and your support. Thank you. JCS family too. I appreciate that, really. Please keep praying for the Philippines and all missionaries all around the world. Even if it is difficult to live and to love, but we must overcome the, all the, you know, the bad situation and we must love the people around us, the love family, love classmates, and love teachers, even love your enemies. This is God's will. What is God's will? The first number one we already shared, number one is love one another. Number, the second is to become children of light. If you look at the verses 15 to 16, it says, you shine like stars in the universe. As you hold out the word of God, it is about a good influence as a living Christian in the world. This good influence must come from the God's word. It is written on verse, hold out the word of light. Hold out the word of light. Amen. The meaning of hold out in this text means in a kind of and you know, make hot fire hot light not only just shine the light the God wants us to become hot fire hot fire hot light not means to pretend just looks like in a Christian but becoming a real real true Christian the by power of word of God. Living as a real Christian is like 
have fire in the word. It means the Christian must have a good influence in the word. It is from word of God, not from our own knowledge, not from our own um, power. That's why you know, we should meditate word of God day and night. We meditate word of God and proclaim and live according to the word of God. God will work in our life through word of God. Let us become the hot fire in the word by power from word of God. Let's shine home and school and the word by power of word of God. Amen. For the local ministry for Philippine people community, my church never stopped to have worship service in this the difficult situation of COVID-19. The church we planted the last year is in uh, the poor neighborhood on the side of traditional marketplace. This is the regional area where the JCS family pray and serve now. Thank you for that. The most of Filipinos are Catholic, as you know, about 90%. Yes. I think in all the Philippine people in the know Jesus because they've been uh, over a long time and uh, they've been uh, Catholic church members. So they know Jesus, they know God. But the problem is that they don't know about the Word of God. I think they seem to live a religious life only. It's very sad. So I started Bible study last year in regional area, and I was surprised because they don't even know about in the Old Testament is or New Testament is. Can you believe? In the Bible study class. When I said, please turn, on, turn to the book of John, chapter 1. But I was surprised because they didn't know about in the book of John, where the book of John is. The Filipinos must learn the word of God. Then they can shine the word. Then they can be hot fire. Then they can be hot light in this Philippines. Please pray for them that the power of God, that the power of God's word rule over here in Philippines. The word of God, the word of life must be rebuilt through the Philippine people, for the Philippines, for the world. Yes, this is God's will. What is God's will? is to love one another. Number two is to become children of light. The hot light, hot fire, by power of word of God. Amen. Number three. Number three is to fear God. Amen. The verse 12 says, Whoever is there or not, a possible says, Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. You should not worry about people's thoughts, but we need to care about God's thought always. We need to fear God. No, we must fear God. Because God is with you, God is with me all the time. God is alive. Amen. If you remember, God is with you and live a life of working with the Lord. That kind of person is living kind of a truly successful life spiritually. Remember, the Lord of Emmanuel, Emmanuel God wants us to have victory by faith. I want you to remember this deep in your heart. This is very important to have True faith. Amen. And here, Philippines, there is a large gap between 
the rich and the poor. The more I know the Philippines, the more difficult you know, to do ministry here. I continue to encourage them by preaching the gospel in regional area, even in other area, encouraging them to have a big dream in Jesus Christ. One day, in the Bible class, one of my church members said, we are too poor to have even dream. It hurts my heart. They are too poor. That's true. So they can have any dream. We need to pray for them to have a, a dream in Jesus Christ. It's about in a faith matter, I believe. I want them uh, to fear God only, not to fear situation, not to fear the people. I just want them to have a fear God and uh, to overcome any fear of in, in this world. By power of God. I want them to be completely transformed to be real Christian according to God's word to glorify God. Please pray for them. Have strong faith to overcome their poverty and low self esteem. I pray for them, for God, for God work in them. God work in them to will and act according to His good purpose. Only God can do it. So that's why we need to pray for them. Please remember the God's will. Number one is to love. Number two is become a, a fire, a light in this world. And number three is truly fear God because God is with us. God can do everything if we have faith. Then God will drive us to live a successful life as a Christian. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Our Father God, I love you, Lord. Thank you for letting us share your word, what God's will is today. The bless all of us. Bless JCS family. So that we live as we are Christian according to God's will. May the Lord bless JCS school and JCS staff and students and all the families to become true Christian in this world, to shine the word by power of the word of God. Thank you, Lord, again. We give all the glory to you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you, everyone. God bless. Bye-bye.